Riggy map and Retargify. Two add-ons that work in conjunction with the built-in rigging system, Rigify. Riggy map being a shortcut for retargeting and Retargify acting as a much faster way to build upon an armature. You have an armature downloaded from Mixamo and you want to edit the animation. You can painstakingly tweak the animation without gizmos, editing only using the base armature. This could work, but you lose all the utility of a comprehensive rigged system. How about if we could in a sense make this armature a puppet, but without the additional cleanup afterwards? Retargify will build off for of most, if not all, armatures. I would suggest learning about Rigify before jumping into this add-on, as it would help you understand the workflow. Let me select the Maximo armature and show you. Enter the object properties and select Enter Armature Builder. This will initialize Retargify and it will create a look at armature for reference called armature.anim underscore setup. And then it will take us into the building process. Step 1. We'll remove the extra bone ends. Just jump into edit mode, select the bone ends and then delete the bones. Connecting the bone chains. For example, select the left thigh bone. You want to think in parent order. Thigh, shin, foot, then toe. To trigger connect chain, you can head up to the top menu, pose and look for it near the bottom. Or you can press the hotkey Alt C. Mine's for just now is C because you're able to go into preferences and define it however you would like. So now knowing that, trigger connect chain. And if you have the thigh selected, it should connect each bone working through the children. Repeat the process on the other leg. Now select the left shoulder. We will connect each bone until we reach the hand. Problems might happen when we come to a junction and if you overstep, the bone will connect to the nearest child. Just undo, stop, and then move on to the fingers and follow the same setup. Repeat the process on the other arm. Finally, hips to head. Connect the bones until you come to the junction of the shoulder and neck. There's a possibility the spine will connect to either. To bypass this, shift select your parent and hold shift to select the child and then connect the bone. If misaligned bones are a problem, select the bone, press Alt X to extend chain and select the desired parameters. Now, each parent bone requires a Rigify type to identify what its function will be. For example, I will select left and right upper arm and declare it as limbs.arm in the bone parameters and rig type. These are now Rigify arms. I will select the fingers and thumbs on both sides and apply limbs.fingers. I will also select both thighs and apply limbs.leg. Select the hip and make the rig type spine.basicspine and then after that finally select the neck and make it spine.superhead. We could try and generate but an error message will pop up reading heel bone not found. We are required to manually create heel bones inside edit mode. So enter edit mode and duplicate the toe bone and place it where the heel should be. We can now generate and see the rig working, but there appears to be a problem. The hand gizmo is orientated wrongly. Select update inside Retargify's menu. Enter edit mode to tweak the armature. We want to create a slight bend in direction in the chain, so the parents understand its position relative to the child. Now generate and test again. Open update. We have access to Rigify bone layers, which means we can create how we can view the bones within the viewport using custom layers. Think Photoshop turning on and off layers. For example, I will name layer 0 head and layer 1 everything else. I will select everything inside the viewport and press Alt M. This will bring up Retargify's Rigify bone layer quick menu. Then I'll select the neck and head and place it in the head layer. If I now generate, look at the end panel, item and rig layers, you will see head and everything else in root tabs. 
So, if we return to the bone layers, that means we could create layers for each part of the armature, having functionality of hiding and showing what we want. When you're happy, hit Generate. Rig Layers interface is getting cluttered, so let's organise it. All you have to do is tweak the UI layer order within the Bone Layers section. Why are the layers not acting accordingly? Within each parent lies sub-layers called FK layers and tweak layers. Simply put, the white dot is the parent layer and the blue square is the sub-layer. For easy understanding, click the white dot and you will see it light up blue. We have just assigned the tweak layer onto the parent layer. Clicking on other blocks will assign the sub-layer bones to the other layers. So for this example, make sure everything's blank and only put on the parent layer for just now. We now have a basic layer set up for pose mode, but everything is black, causing it to be difficult to tell each gizmo apart. So adding colour is a great way to tackle this. Inside Rigify Bone Layers, we have bone groups. For a test, assign each layer with a different bone group and generate. If you would like to create your own colour scheme, head over to Update, Data Properties and look for the Rigify Bone Groups tab. Now we can use Retargify. Whatever animation data we apply to this armature, it is only affecting armature.anim and our base Mexamo armature until we decide to bake down. I can now bake these animations to my Mexamo armature by selecting the Bake Current Action within the Retargrify menu and then happily take the armature into another program such as Unity. So this add-on is perfect for people who want to use Mexamo and Regify and avoid the middleman. Reggie Map. This add-on retargets mocap data for example, I will use a maximum walk cycle and attach it to our retargify armature that we just generated. Select our base armature and select update and generate. Now open the animation tab in the end panel to access Regimap. We want to make our source the newly imported walk cycle armature. Now when we hit the connect Reggie button, errors will happen. These errors are caused by bad bone names on our main armature due to copying Mixamo's naming convention. Regimap wants Regify's naming convention, so we have to convert bone names. In order to change names, undo some steps before we connect it to Regimap, and then select Update on our main armature and head down to Bone Parameters. Using the Bone Parameters tab, we have to select each bone in the armature and change the name to Rigify Bone Names. When we do this, each bone will be generated with the new name. Thankfully, I've already done this for you, and all you have to do is download my script into the text window and run, and all the names will auto fill. I would highly recommend creating a new save before committing to Rigimap due to anomalies sometimes happening, especially if you update while connected to Rigimap. A common occurrence is bone rotation on the right and left shoulder. Simply access Update, Edit Mode and select each bone and reset bone rotation. We can now scale our reference Mexamo armature to get a close approximation to the floor. When happy, you can hide the armature as it's now connected to our retargify. We now have the full capabilities of Rigimap. You can set hands and feet to FK or IK mode. Let's click the Edit Rigimap button.
When inside Riggy Map, we have access to its puppet tools, where we can in real time edit how our retargify rig interpretates the animation. For example, the arm and leg positions are too close, so I will tweak them. In essence, we are fine tuning the armature before committing to baking down the keyframes. When happy with the results, exit the editing feature of Riggy Map, and we can now bake into our retargify's rig and bake down again into our final armature and then we could do the export into an external application. We now have a fully rigged character based on Mexamo. We can easily introduce any animations, edit on the fly and bake down and commit. Happy days. I hope I helped. If so, like and subscribe and ask questions below.